Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week 5 of season 2, 2021 in the GT3 Challenge, the new Fix series. And we are with me back in the Ferrari 488 GT3. This week we're around the new Hockenheim Ring circuit, the Grand Prix layout and the time and date is set to the 17th of April 2021 at 1.40 in the afternoon to match the official time sent out on the season 2 PDF. All circuit guides are run with baseline car setups, but this is a Fix series anyway. Same format as before, breakdown lap followed by a full speed uninterrupted lap followed by an off-board lap and as usual this is filmed before the week has begun so it's difficult to compare lap times but let's see if we can help you guys find some time now here we go then for this brand new circuit we're coming onto the main straight now we want to be on the left hand side for the tricky but fast right hander of turn one the braking zone you want to be looking for that 100 meter board we're going to go from fifth to third now the tricky part is you don't want to take too much curve on entry but you also don't want to take well you want to use as much as you can on the exit but not too much or you'll get a 1x or potentially a slowdown but carry as much speed as you can through there next braking zone just before this pathway on the left about car length before from fifth down into first gear. You can see there, right down into first, get it turned in, and then smooth on the power on exit as it's easy to lose the back end, but it's full speed now for a nice long run down to a hairpin. So this is a key overtaking zone right now. Up through the gears, flat out. You want to be on the left-hand side all the way down, unless, of course, you're defending. So stick to the left-hand side, getting ready for the extremely tight hairpin right hand hairpin and the braking zone is just as this curb is about to start hard on the brakes and you want to keep the car as straight as you can for as long as you can fifth right down to first gear of course here we go get it turned in now and then as soon as you reach that apex point full lock right look at that right on the steering wheel you want to get smooth on the power now the straighter you can get the car before you put that power down the more traction you're going to have and the better exit you're going to get for this nice flat out section through here this right hand is nice and flat out so it's all good get back to the right hand side of the track and the braking zone is just as that curb on the left ends but we want to be aiming for the right hand side of the track as we brake from fifth down to first once again it feels like a second gear corner but trust me in this car it's going to be first smooth on the power get back to the left up into second gear quick lift to get the nose turned in not fully just half lift but keep on that throttle all the way through up to third and away we go for this next right hander braking zone tricky to spot look for that tree on the left and just assume where it is on your left hand side it's just a bit past this wall and we're going to go from fourth down into third gear fast through this corner use all the track on the exit but mind that gravel trap and then the next braking zone in between the 100 and the 50 meter board from fourth down into second gear you can see here we're going to hug the curb all the way around this left hander and then get on that power from the midpoint flat out through this left and flat out through this next right but the braking zone is just past that right hand apex from third down to second aiming for the left hand side of the track before we start turning in now watch the throttle inputs through this right hander we're on it pretty much all the way around we're going to have a quick lift to get the nose turned in and then straight back on the power through this final right hander now you just got to keep it turned in and hope that the track's going to come to you using all the curve on the exit climbing up through the gears for a full lap of the hockenheim ring now we're going to do that again full speed uninterrupted looking for that 100 meter board from fifth down to third gear the fast right hander of turn one down to third get it chucked in watch the curb on the inside use all the track on the exit and away we go the reason we use first a lot in this car is because it's meant to have a seventh gear in real life but it doesn't on this game just before the road on the left down to first gear for this corner which probably would be second in real life but there we go smooth on the power it's really key that you don't put it all the way down on the throttle there because otherwise you will lose the back end or potentially the traction control will kick in and you'll ruin your run down to this hairpin so make sure you're keeping an eye out for that only three sectors on this track quite a big track for three sectors looking for the curb to start fifth down to first gear keep it as straight as long as you can get it turned in and then smooth on the power on the midpoint and away we go for another flat out section stick to the left hand side on this exit and then get ready for this flat out right hander here we go Keep it pinned, turn in, and then look for the curb on the left to end whilst we're aiming towards the right-hand side of the track. Down to first gear again, get it chucked in, smooth on the power, straight away, up to second, get to the left-hand side, quick lift, to keep the power on. It's not a full lift, it's just three quarters, up into third, mid-corner, and then keep it pinned. Just as the wall appears, we're going to go from fourth to third, get it chucked in, careful of the rear end through there, get back on that power and careful of the gravel on the exit because that will drag you out and ruin your lap as well. In between the 100 and the 50, 
get it down to second, hug the curb all the way around, flat out through here now using the track on the exit, get to the left, just past this right hand apex, down to second, get it turned in, coast through, feather the throttle, out to the left hand side of the circuit, get back on the throttle again, smooth on the power, not full throttle because you'll understeer straight off the track. And there we go, as soon as you feel comfortable, get the power down and you've completed your lap of Hockenheim for a 139.4 this time round. As usual, that's pretty much it from me, so I hope this circuit guide has helped. Uh, don't forget to keep those likes and comments coming in and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It really does mean a lot. We're nearly at 2,000 subscribers, people, so keep that going. And as usual, if I don't see you on track this week, then I'll see you next week for the next video here on The Racing Line. Peace.